And if I had to do it again, well, I don't think I would. I cannot discover, I have no food. Uh... Boah, Digga, nach acht Tagen schon so am struggeln, Digga. Schreie denn, man? I have nobody to change uh, opinion. And then I talk to myself, but I always agree with me. Then it's not fun. <lacht> And now, in theory, I have a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo denn, man? <lacht> The dirt comes out every day, every day. So I decided to go hunting for wild pig. Oh my God, der geht jetzt einfach ein Schwein jagen, yo. Gib mir die Schweini vibes man. <lacht> Digga, den Typen muss man sich eigentlich mal für ein Interview holen, ne? Ist Schweizer, Bruder. Bin unterwegs mit den Brüdern, wir wollen doch nur ein bisschen von der Sonne. Fahrer am Puder mit ner Bitch, der Kopf ist gefickt und ich öffne ne Bardo. Jeder will Aufmerksamkeit, doch der Schmerz auf mein Herzen wiegt über ne Tonne. Kann ich entkommen, bete zu Gott, bitte über nem Kontrolle. Dann hab ich noch ein Video, <coughs> so eine Art Dokumentation, wo jemand 300 Tage allein auf einer Insel ist. It was only upon my arrival at the Geneva airport that I realized it was over. Over there, it was difficult. Physically, but mostly psychologically. And if I had to do it again, well, I don't think I would. In September 2008, I left Switzerland and its comfort to spend 10 months alone in the archipelago of Tonga, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. To they got 10 months alone, brother. I brought with me a machete and my Swiss knife. I also had a medical kit, satellite. Schweizer, so ein paar Schweizer hier auf jeden Fall. So ein paar Schweizer hier auch in dem Chat drin, ne? Ich küsse euer Herz. Solar panel and battery to supply energy for my cameras. It's a dream I wanted to realize. Uh, I've been working for 14 months for it uh, and now, now I'm here. Uh, but Digga, dieser Moment muss heftig sein. Der steht da auf dem Felsen und die Leute mit dem Boot gehen weg, Digga. Und dann bist du alleine, Bruder, lost. The most important thing is to stay zen uh, and to keep calm because whatever happens, uh, I'll be alone. The archipelago of Tonga is lost in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The island of Tofua is about 250 kilometers away from the capital and its last inhabitant left more or less 20 years ago. Tofua is a caldera, a former volcano which exploded. In the middle, there is a lake of sulfuric water and north of the island you can see the smoke from the still active volcano. Krass, einfach Wasser in der Mitte, Bruder. Heftig. It's only 24 hours I'm here. I'm missing food, I'm missing drink, water, I'm missing everything. It's horrible. No, it's Fuck. Horrible, but it teaches me that you cannot do it at the first time. You have to go step by step and uh, I have to learn. And it takes much more time than what I expected. The next day, I installed my solar panel to charge my batteries and I went back fishing. At sundown, I still hadn't caught anything. Ooh. Just as I was about to give up, I caught my first fish. To top that, it was big enough to feed me over the next two days. I feel good. I feel much better than this morning because I could get a fish, I could eat it, and I still have a little bit for tomorrow. Then I'm happy. I will just finish this fire again, five minutes, ten minutes, and after I go sleep because I don't want to waste some uh, wood. 
Ey, sein Akzent ist auf jeden Fall ähnlich wie von meinem Kumpel Axel, ne? Von dem Franzosen, Digga. Krass. Many, but it's, uh, it is not dry. All the wood is, all the wood is, is wet. Hello, hello. Ah, it's full of ants. Probably I cannot even eat it anymore. Ah, fuck, Alter, voll die, voll die, äh, äh, Ameisen, wa? Oh, ja, yeah, right, I was sure. They got it all. They weren't any friends on the island. I had to find a way to preserve my fishing. At home in the Alps, the elders used to use two ways to preserve their meat. Salting and smoking. All right, the target is to make something to smoke the fish, because I hope to have many, many fishes. No, many, many fish, and uh, I need to, to smoke them. Building the smoke house didn't take too much time. Ah, und wenn die geräuschert sind, dann gehen die, dann, dann bleiben die äh, haltbar, oder was? It worked perfectly. Das ist eigentlich ähm, der echte Mensch in seiner schönen Natur und nicht in der Matrix. Auf jeden Fall krass, Digga. Also mich interessiert sowas brutal. My grandfather would have been proud of me. For the first two days I slept as I could, using the curved trunk of a coconut tree. But I wasn't going to spend 10 months like that. I had to build a shelter for myself. I started with the roof. Lattice work, coconut lashes, humor dry, the usual luck or the unusual one. For 14 Monate Vorbereitungsphase, um sich das auch alles beizubringen, glaube ich, Digga. I used coconut branches that I plated through the paneling, hoping this wouldn't let the water through. And four days later, my shelter was built, and I was able to move on to something else. I still had to accomplish one important ritual in order to live at nature's rhythm. I had to stop time. The thing is, I should find a nice place for the watch, not too far from the ocean. So, even if it's on the ground, it can get a good vibe from the sea. Yes! It's beautiful. I will be here for nine months and 20 days approximately by myself, uh, where I have to have the time. No time, huh? At the beginning, fishing took up most of my time. I wasn't catching fish every day, and I was spending long hours waiting for them to bite. I imagined a system to free myself from this chore. The principle was simple. A very heavy branch as a fishing rod, one heavy stone as a counterweight, the fishing line and the bait, and that did the trick. All right, that's finished. I'm exhausted. It looks very easy, I know, huh, to do it, but I don't eat so much now because I don't have the choice and um, I drink, that's okay, but every time I have to do a physical effort, I feel uh, tired very easily. Then uh, now I will, uh, I will have a rest. Ha, I'm not in a hurry, neither, anyway. Der erinnert mich voll an Axel, Dicker, Alter. Schöne Grüße gehen raus an Axel an der Stelle. Bester Mann, ja. You are hungry, you are less picky. I found some sea snails. Well, only a few of them. Not enough for it. But the nap, huh? The lack of food, the sudden solitude, no points of reference. I don't know what waited on me the most. But after eight days, I cried. My family is missing me, and... Uh... Everything I know is missing me, actually. Here it's nice, but I... Uh, I cannot discover, I have no food. Uh, I have water, yes, but uh, yeah. it's so hard, it's very hard. <clears throat> and uh, in my house I have everything. Then I say, why, why are you doing this, you know? 
<laughs> you, you, could, you, could, you could stay home, cool, with your friends, girlfriend, family. Boah, Digga, nach acht Tagen schon so am struggeln, Digga. Matt, schöne Grüße zurück, Bro, ich küsse dein Herz. It just hit without warning. I was down in the dumps, 22,000 kilometers away from home, far from my friends, my family, my fridge, and worst of all, this was my ID. Fortunately, I had the flag ovation, on which my friends had written me messages. Reading them gave me the courage to go on. And to top this, it was that day I saw Wales for the first time. And when you see this, I can tell you, you forget all your problems. Whoa, guy. I miss many things here. And uh, there is many things I have here that I cannot have home. But in the morning, it's very hard to to put this in mind. But in the evening, yeah, I, I feel this again and I feel very happy, I feel quiet. I think what I have to learn is to go slowly now. I have to learn to take the time to do everything. Here still everything I do, I want to do it fast, to make it finish as quick as possible. Oh. And it's not the way. Yeah, Digga. What is design thinking? At its simplest, it's a way of you. Das ist auf jeden Fall eine krasse Aussage, dass er äh Lernen muss, Dinge nicht immer so schnell fertig zu bringen, Digga. Das ist, ja bei, das ist ja bei uns allen so. Aber wenn du den ganzen Tag alleine bist, Zeit rumkriegen musst und eigentlich gar keinen Zeitdruck hast, weil du jetzt 300 Tage da alleine bist, dann kannst du dir auch dafür Zeit nehmen. Sachen langsam machen, so weißt du? Crazy. Um, I had to push this, this plastic, which was the protection of my solar panel. Because I realized that my roof is not waterproof at all. And um, I really need a waterproof uh, roof for all the material I have. That's why I put this. Uh, and I will start today doing uh, um, uh, to work with the coconut sleeve to do a waterproof roof. The first step was to reach the top of the coconut tree. But if climbing up a tree seems to be rather easy, reaching the palms of that tree with such a smooth trunk is a different kettle of fish. Shit. Having accomplished this exploit, I stripped the tree of its palms. I had chosen them because of their length, which pretty much matched the, the one of my roof. Then comes the weaving. The method is simple. Once above, once under. Once above, once under. On lève, on laisse en bas. On lève, on laisse en bas. On lève. On descend, on ramène. In the Heavy Tonga shit, Islands, yeah. the roof of the shelters are covered by... Ich schwör dir, als ich hierher gekommen bin, hatte ich auch irgendwie das Bedürfnis, mal so ein, zwei Nächte im Dschungel einfach alleine rumzusteppen, so. Aber ich bin jetzt noch, bis jetzt noch nicht dazu gekommen. Es wäre auf jeden Fall auch ein Vlog wert, Digga, ne? So eine Nacht im Dschungel alleine? <lacht> nee, Digga. Wer weiß. Eins in den Chat, wenn ich alleine in den Dschungel gehen soll, Freunde. During lattice work, which makes them waterproof. Obviously, quite a few of them are needed anyway. Another major problem I had was the mosquitoes. There were thousands of them in that forest. So the best way to keep them away from my camp was to clean around the shelter and to open up the space so the wind from the ocean could create a natural protection. But it didn't work. Give it Justine. Since this morning, I hear the volcano. And I didn't know what happened and I was a bit worried because we never know. And that's why I I came to the top. I have to find out. I came to the top to have a look at the volcano. The way up to the volcano isn't really a piece of cake, especially when it comes to walking through the tangled fern. But once you reach the side of the crater, the sight makes you forget the effort. Bro, sind da keine wilden Tiere, Digga? Hautschreie, 
kidding, man? Sometimes uh, I, I feel lonely. The, the only thing who, who never, who didn't change here, it, it's me. I mean, I, I, see, at the beginning. Uh, but I'm here for one month here, and it's true that I, I miss pretty much everything. Uh, I'm in the middle of the nature, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm alone. Halt, lock in the hose, now, man. I'm really alone, and that, that's not easy. After my first visit to the volcano, I decided that every day I would extend the known perimeter to an extra few hundred meters. I'm always looking a little bit around. Just... There is always things to discover, to find. Always, always. Today it was a mango tree. Enormous. Bending because of too many fruits. I should be drawing a tiger blade. Yeah, brother. You find those fruits ah. almost ripe, fed like getting Christmas presents. In order to reinforce my roofing, I needed some rope. And on Tofua, the rope tree existed. I only had to find it. Oh no, that's not solid at all. That's not it. This is completely rotten. And after several attempts, I finally found what I was looking for. Yes! I only had to cut some long straps out of the bar and let them dry under the sun. I finished one side of the roof uh, today. Uh, I, we still have to see if it's waterproof, of course, but at least I did it with nothing, uh, with my hand and the coconut sleeve and, uh, and uh, I am proud of, of, uh, of this and you know the life here uh, it's very simple but it's not, not as uh, easy as that huh? uh, everything you have to do yourself uh, and uh, I learn a lot about this so it gives me a new perception of, uh, of the world Digga, Alter, so eine Zeit, das muss einen so krass prägen, Digga, an der Stelle. Ich weiß, viele von euch können sich da vielleicht nicht reinversetzen, so. Oder interessiert es vielleicht auch nicht so krass. Ich muss sagen, mich persönlich interessiert es brutal. Und ich, äh, ja, Bro, ich bin ja auch ein Mensch. Ich bin einfach so nach Mexiko abgehauen und lebe jetzt hier in Mexiko im Dschungel, aber ist Touristengebiet. Ähm, das macht auch schon sehr viel mit einem. Ich will nicht wissen, als was, also was das für ein, was das mit einem macht, auch so nach so einer langen Zeit alleine. Also was einem da alles bewusst wird, so, weißt du, wie ich meine? Du kannst das ganze Leben mit einer ganz anderen, mit einem ganz anderen Blick sehen, Bruder. Du bist nicht jeden Tag gefickt von irgendwelchen Social Medias, von irgendwelchen, Bruder, von irgendwelchen Menschen auch und so. Du bist einfach nur alleine auf dich fokussiert und konzentriert, Digga. Das macht so viel mit deinem Leben, 100%. Prozent. Fishing didn't bring me food every day. I added a new dish to my diet. Small coconut sprout cooked over charcoal. Dressed with ashes and brown. Also, the coconut was easy to cut open. The inside looked like a fruit compote. It is hard to describe the taste. Um, soft, a bit sweet, but with no taste of ah, cocoa. And warm, it was excellent. Crazy. Oh, süßigkeiten, no, man. After more than one month on the island, I was able to survive and get organized the essential. There was Über only one Monat problem schon. left. The lack of human contact. What I realized now... Es gibt kein Gym. Du hast es erfasst, Bruder. Jemmo weiß Bescheid, was wichtig ist. Aber du kannst da pumpen, Bro. Also ich hätte mir da was einfallen lassen, auf jeden Fall zum Trainieren. Is that I start feeling lonely? Because I have nobody to talk. I have nobody to change opinion. And then I talk to myself. But I always agree with me. <laughs> then it's not fun. It's not fun. And, uh, nobody can give me more information about what I know already. And uh, I'm just alone. Whatever I do, I am alone. I cannot say, hey, yeah, woo, -woo. You know, I... <laughs> I think I'm in my mind I have enough. 
I start to be bored now. Lone, lonely and bored. Kras. Kras. I found a very nice place there, but the access is hard to go from the beach because of all the stones. Then maybe I can find the easiest uh, way to go from inside. Yes. Bro. <laughs> Sitting on that beach, I contemplated the vastness of the ocean, savoring my victory. But taking a look around me, I found myself faced with the worst of our civilization. Oh, so much trash. The, uh... Thrown into the ocean, thousands of kilometers from here, and carried away by the water streams to end up along the shore. Krass, Digga. I even found a bit of bamboo. What could I use it for? I decided to bring it back to the camp Fucking until I found a use bro. for it. But I already had my ID. Leon, this macht Hartz IV TV mit dem. Was baut der? Alle! Ah, Instrument oder was? And now, in theory, I have a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo it in, man. <laughs> if you forget the mosquitoes? Bro, der musste sein, Digga. Darauf hab ich gewartet, Digga. <laughs> the I seem to be quite mellow. But okay. every day, oh shit, when Digga, wird immer, immer gemütlicher bei ihm da zu Hause. I regularly scrap myself during my exploration in the forest. I ended having numerous infections beneath the skin that didn't heal anymore. I had to use my satellite phone to call Dr. Richon in Switzerland. He did the follow-up from there. Yes, Jack, this is Xavier Rosset calling. Mentally speaking, I'm fine. I can pretty much do whatever I want, but uh, it's physically. I have a small technical problem. Uh, I need you either to... I described him how things looked. He told me what to use from the medical kit that he helped me to put together in Switzerland. Now I go, I go for it. I, don't, I really don't want to do it because it hurts already so much. Maybe after it will be better. The dirt comes out every day, every day. I have to wash every day to the sea water. After I have to boil uh, um, flat water. I have to clean again with normal water. I have to put betadine, which is a special cream. I am in the middle of nowhere and I'm taking antibiotic. In uh, five days, if, he, if it not goes better, I have to call back uh, the doctor. <laughs> ja, ich habe das ja auch schon gehabt, die ein oder andere Wunde hier und dann auch noch in so einem Klima, dies, das, ist auf jeden Fall crazy. Fahr halt voll kacke und dann bist du auch noch alleine, Bruder, ohne Doktor, Mokdor. Auf jeden Fall gut, dass er... Ähm dass er ein Satellitentelefon hat, Digga. Thanks to my doctor's advice, I'm taking special care of my wounds. They healed within a few days. Okay, nice. However, even if I was busy every day, I started to suffer from another problem that medicine couldn't heal. I have no motivation to do anything anymore now. Mm. Because uh, I am alone. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even try to do the fire yet with the wood, you know, because uh, I, I because uh, I am fed up. I don't have any. I don't know. Maybe why? Why should I do this? I am alone. Who I should share this with? Nobody. Nobody. Uh. Digga, mental muss es auf jeden Fall krass sein, Bro. Also mental, Digga, boah, Bruder. Mental muss es auf jeden Fall heftig sein, Bruder. Keine Menschen, kein Kontakt, kein nix. 
Ein paar Tage, okay, eine Woche, okay, aber Monate, Bruder. I come because I coming and need some help to, for my friend in my village was cutting his fingers like this. Break the cover and break his fingers too. Just as if he had heard me, Luffy appeared in my life. A few days per year, farmers from the neighboring island come to Tofua to cultivate kava, a plant whose root is used to produce a bitter drink. Luffy was one of them. He knew more or less where my camp was. He came to me, hoping that I could save his friend's finger. But their camp was more than six hours walk away. All right, now I am. Ah, krass, da ist noch irgendwas auf dieser Insel, oder was? Und die verarbeiten da irgendwas und einer von den Cousins hat... Äh einer von den Cousins hat seinen Finger irgendwie abgehackt oder verwundet und jetzt hat er den da aufgesucht und jetzt müssen die sechs Stunden lang laufen, um da hinzukommen. On the way back to the village of my friend Luffy, because one of his friends had a big cut. Und man merkt direkt, der ist glücklicher, Digga, weil er jetzt eine Aufgabe hat. So Menschen brauchen so krass eine Aufgabe, das ist so heftig, Digga. Wenn Menschen keine Aufgabe haben, dann sind wir lost. Wir müssen irgendwas zur Gesellschaft beitragen, irgendeinen Beruf haben oder so, sonst sind wir lost, Digga. Fingers, a little bit of the finger went out. And maybe I can do something. I, I will try to do my best. But if the infection starts already, it will be too late. The best way to see is to go and have a look. Luffy preferred to follow me, so he could adapt his speed to mine, rather than looking over his shoulder to avoid losing me. Very sweet, yeah? Mm. The middle, huh? It's very, very sweet. Oh. It's <laughs> tellement bon. Mm. Once we reach the... Essen kriegt auch eine ganz andere Bedeutung. <laughs> I was quickly able to measure the gravity of the case. You okay? Malo Lele! I could ah, administer first fliegen, aid, but I knew drauf, that he would have to get to a medical center <laughs> as soon as the boat would be able to pick him up. In the meantime, I did my best with the medical kit and my little knowledge. Yo! Alright, I think I did my best with, with your friend. Until tomorrow I can do, but after it's better, he goes to hospital. <laughs> Geil, Digga, das gibt ihm voll die Kraft und Motivation, glaube ich, dass er da was machen konnte, Digga, weißt du? I'm a doctor in Tafua, but I did my best. <laughs> Jimmy's finger is going much better now. And for me it's time to, to go back. Ohne Duschen und Rasieren, krass. Aber das Meer ist da. Man kann schon, man kann schon einigermaßen duschen. Hokula. Man sieht direkt in seinen Augen, ne? Der Bubblegum sagt doch, er lacht wieder. To my, to my house in Hokula. It's true that makes me strange to leave these people. They're very nice people. And to go back again alone. Ah, der muss jetzt alleine zurück, hä? In, in my place, I don't know. But now it's time to go and I am on the way. Very warm day, and uh, you don't always find solitude, even when you look for it. There is a boat arriving, a sailing boat. It looks like uh, it comes near Okula. For me, it could be an extraordinary visit, and uh, I really look forward to see them. The sailboat brought along a group of Norwegians who were completing two months of sailing in the archipelago. For one time, it's not me on the camera. No, it's visitors. <laughs> what do you think about the house? Have you you see you saw it, yeah? Uh, not a lot of luxury, <laughs> but it'll do, I guess, for you for the next uh, half a year or a year. You have a bed, and you have somewhere to hide from the rain if you're finishing the roof. <laughs> and you need to finish your new roof first. <laughs> Before finishing my roof, I took them to the volcano. They had the day, and I, I had all the time in the world. It wasn't the first time I was here, but until now, I stayed on the crest. With them, I went even closer to the crater. How long will 
Adios. I like this. In a remote island, middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. One one inhabitant. <laughs> huh. That's kind of cool. You like a machete? Yeah. You like the work with the machete? Really cool way to work. Looks, looks like a German, no? I could guide these people, very nice people. Could guide them up to the top of the island and bring them down to the volcano and spend the day with them. They have to leave today, unfortunately. But um, we spent a nice day together and uh, now I get a little bit of rice, I'll get onion, I get one garlic, I get two beers and yes. I get also um, a Coca-Cola. Then I'm really happy that I met them. Ah, und sie bleibt oder was? Verliebt drin, ne? <laughs> was cool because today I was not lonely anymore. I could talk to people, I could exchange opinion, I could, uh, you know, uh, I was not alone anymore. And uh, now it's really true that I feel very happy because they were here, but in the other way, I, I feel also a bit sad because they're leaving. Mm. But the, the, what I have to keep in my mind is that they were here with me and they changed my day. Thank you, Norwegian people. Thank you very much. Norwegian, okay. Woo. Oh shit, jetzt wird erstmal gesoffen lange auf gemütlich. My visitors were right. In December the rain season begins and I had to make sure my roof was waterproof. Once the job done and the last branches fixed, I decided to treat myself to another small luxury. The view and the earth. But all the work with the machete ended up blunting the blade. Machete doesn't cut anymore at all. And to sharpen it, there was nothing better than the volcanic stone polished by the sea. Mm. Once wet, it worked perfectly. <laughs> sharpen it, man. After a few months on the island, I had enough knowledge. So that something like a routine had settled in. I was quite good at providing food for myself and the perimeter around my camp had increased considerably. Hat sich, well, eine, hat sich eine gemütliche Aussicht an Start gefahren, Digga. So, hat jetzt eine Routine sich erarbeitet, Bro. Jetzt wird relaxter, oder was? On Christmas Day, I decided to use my satellite to leave a message to my parents. It is the first Christmas I spend without you. It feel a bit bizarre, but that's the way it is. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and Daddy, I hope your hips goes better, that everything goes fine. And I wanted Erste Mal Weihnachten nicht zu Hause, Bro. Ich habe da auch drüber nachgedacht, Digga. Das könnte bei mir auch der Fall sein, yo. Das ist auf jeden Fall komisch, Bro. You know that uh, everything goes well here. Uh, don't worry for me and I wish you a Merry Christmas. To spend Christmas and New Year's Eve alone on an island is really depressing. I was thinking about my friend. My family, the foie gras, champagne and sparkle, all those things usually I don't really like. I was here for another six months of solitude. Well, not exactly, because Gael, my best friend, promised to come over here and spend the two last week with me. But meanwhile, I was alone. That's what I thought, because the arrival of surprising company lifted my spirit. His name is Sugar, and uh, he's nine months old. Uh, it's the father of Fluffy who gave it to me uh, because he thought that I was uh, too much lonely here in Hokula. Crazy. Fluffy, the farmer That's who dog. came to ask me for help, came back one morning to give me this dog as a gift. He wanted to thank me for having saved his friend's finger. Oh, Digga, ich hab echt schwöre auf alles, Bro. Ich hab gestern drüber nachgedacht, mir vielleicht einen Hund an Start zu bringen, yo. My motivation was back on track. A little garden would add diversity to my diet. Das ist natürlich geil, Digga. Jetzt hat er jemanden da, so weißt du. Ich liebe Hunde mittlerweile. Früher habe ich nie so einen Bezug zu Hunden gehabt. Hier in Mexiko habe ich einen Bezug zu Hunden bekommen irgendwie. So I become a farmer, always using what I could find around. Ist brutal dunkel, Digga. Sieht man mich überhaupt noch? Ja, so ein bisschen, ne? 
could be strange I choose the front of the to make my plantation but it's strategically uh, very well thinking because um, first of all here it's the only place where there is uh, no big tree another thing also is that it's 15 20 minutes walk from my camp then I, I can come every day because of the of the wild pig and if I don't come every day, they will eat uh, all the things that I put here. Also, one more reason is that the water tanker is here. I will use it to, to give water to my plantation. I need to work more useful than uh, beautiful. I had also kept the watermelon seeds that Luffy gave me along with the dog. The watermelon seeds? Fertile. Wenn du jetzt Wassermelonen äh, anpflanzt so oder was, for dann dauert das so was. I decided to continue exploring the island. Looking for new fruits or vegetables, beaches, cave, or simply new landscapes, I walked along the coast to the west, along the rocky cliffs, blocking the island. Here I am on the west side of the island. Uh, the target was to discover a little bit this part of the island which is very different than uh, the part where I have my house. Here there is no big trees, there is a uh, low yeah, man, vegetation uh, and very dry vegetation. Um, and also one of the goal is to find uh, the Captain Cook cave because it's near the, the ocean, but it's so big here that to find it's uh, not, near, not impossible, but very hard. Okay, das sieht gerade aus wie dieser eine Film. Wie heißt der Film nochmal, wo Leonardo DiCaprio alleine auf einer Insel ist? Er kommt mit den Mann. Okay, now it's time to go home to cook dinner. And to be able to eat, uh, I need a fish. Shut the island. Echt? And that even Ah ne, ist gar nicht. Ich meine nicht, ich mein nicht äh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Ich meine den anderen Cousin, der sich dann so ein, der so ein Volleyball am Start hat, bro. Und dann mit dem Volleyball redet, sich da ein Gesicht drauf malt mit so einer Hand. Wie heißt der nochmal? Tom Hanks, genau. I genau, Dilo. Wie heißt der nochmal? Tom Hanks, Mama. Oh my god, bro. Apart from the animal. It's a shark, no? Being impressive. Suddenly I had a large amount of food. I tried my umu. It's a hole in the ground in which you prepare a fire. You put the pieces of fish over hot embers and covering it up completely, just like an oven. The heat that comes from it is supposed to cook everything slowly, over hours. Geht das vorher nicht irgendwann aus? The shark spent the whole night being cooked. I pray that no insect will invite itself to a meal at my expense. Upon removal of the leaves and earth that covered it up, I was relieved. It's hot. It's, uh, it's still hot. Yes. Okay. The slow the cooking was going man. to preserve the fish for two to three days. But I was frustrated from only eating fish this past month. So I decided to go hunting for wild pig. He decided to hunting one pig. Oh my god, they get just a Schwein jagen, yo. Where to find them? Um, Give me the Schweiny vibes, man. Pig path. There is many, many paths for the pigs around here. And the pig used this path. And uh, for us, it's, it's not possible to, to follow on this path because they are 60 centimeters high no more. But uh, if I find one, I want to make a hole uh, on it, like 80 centimeters long, 40 centimeters large, and maybe one meter 20 deep. And uh, I want to hide and put uh, some coconuts on it. And maybe ah, I can get a, a pig. Following the path, I wanted to find the right place where the ground was soft and close to water, and where pigs would pass by for sure. Water, I think I find. A good pig path, and now I have to find a good place and make a hole. <laughs> also Muslim is any. <laughs> Thank you.
While waiting, my little garden had started growing. The first sprouts were visible. It was a great success and the final result looked quite promising. Great! Here are the watermelons. And here there is the little onions. Only one week after my gardening efforts, everything was above ground. Okay. Digga, das nimmt mich voll mit, Digga. Ich hab voll, ich bin voll dabei so, als ob ich auch auf der Insel bin, Digga. I didn't have a great selection, but I could see that my work was bearing its fruits. The trap was ready, the garden growing. It was the perfect time to pay a visit to the volcano. I woke up this morning and I, I had nothing to do. Then I say, why not to go to, to see the volcano? And uh, on the way from the top, I could hear very big noise from the volcano already. Warum geht der eigentlich nicht mal da in die Mitte da schwimmen, bro? When you are down here, it really looks, really look like a moon, moon place. Now I go to see the volcano. Supporte dich seit fünf Jahren, seit fast Tag 1. Ich küsse dein Herz, Tufan. Siehst du? Aber lass die Werbung bitte weg, Bruder. Diese Folgt mir auf Instagram ist nicht cool, Digga. Passt nicht zu dir. Vor allem, wenn du mir seit fünf Jahren folgst, Bruder, dann müssen wir noch den gleichen Vibe haben, Bro. Wir machen doch sowas nicht, Digga, weißt du doch. Warte mal, ich muss mal das Licht hier wieder ein bisschen... each visit to the volcano. I was in contact with the center of the earth. Water, air, earth and fire, all the elements were gathered. Krass, man, Digga. Ich war noch nie an einem Vulkan oder irgendwo in einem Vulkan unterwegs in der Nähe, Digga. Ich glaube, Guatemala gibt's auch einen. Years of tropical rain had forged this magnificent landscape. As I was walking through the canyons, I was thrown deep into the incredible story of the island formation. Man. Scratches were part of my daily number of little inconveniences to which I pay little attention. But when one of them started to swell and I couldn't even bend my finger, I started getting concerned. Ah, yeah. It was really painful. Uh. Over the phone, my doctor explained the move I had to carry out to try to stop the infection. In 24 hours, if it doesn't look like it's better, I go to the hospital. It will take me between five and 10 days until I can reach the first hospital. They, they can do something for me. Then, uh, you know, I don't have to wait too long. If the infection doesn't stay really uh, in the hand, it can go up to the, to the arm and uh, goes into the blood and it can do a, a general infection. And if I have a general infection, it's my life which is in danger. And, uh, and I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm not scared to die, but if I can do something against, I will, you know. On Tchafua, it rains nearly every day. Since some time now, my roof had proven itself to be waterproof. So, well protected, I waited for the rain to stop and was giving my hand a rest. There is nothing really special to do. This is the kind of day you really have to learn to do nothing. Then I do nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing to The next morning, when I arrived at the trap, it was a nice surprise to see it wasn't covered anymore. Oh, oh. It was a baby pig, Nine. a female, 
Surely its mother passed next to it, but the little one fell inside. Oh, Bruder. Tötest du jetzt das Baby oder was? You know what? I made, I made such a big hole just for you. Small pig like you. Töte das Aber nicht, ist Bruder. Ah, Mieux déjà, hein? Je, il me semble que je parle le langage porcin. I didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but I certainly wasn't going to leave it to die here, alone. Correct. A few days later, when my finger was better, I decided to continue looking for Captain Cook's cave. It had shown me where it was. <laughs> I don't like that, man. This time, luck was on my side. I could feel certain vibrations, and I had the feeling I had finally found it. In my garden, the plants were making me happier and happier. Here is one, and here another one, very small, who just started. It's melons. I'm really happy. And I made it with my with my my little hands, and uh, that's the result. Seht ihr mal, wie kleine Dinge auch glücklich machen können, ne, fellas? Normally, when I go walking, the pigs follow me, but uh, today I'm doing a, a quite a walk, and uh, the the pig follow me, but it follow me just for one kilometer, something like this. <laughs> and that's so sweet. It goes in the bush. Peggy, Peggy. And start to hide, and for me, it takes me maybe two hours to to take the pig back. And uh, after, I have to carry it. And the pig doesn't like to be carried. Then uh, he shouts. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I this pig, nigga. To carry a pig, to carry a pig for two hours, three hours like this, shouting is not good. And it's Hannes mit dem Fünfer, gute Nacht. Gute Nacht, mein Bester, Digga. Schlaf gut, ich hoffe, du schläfst gut, Bruder. Danke für den Support auf jeden Fall. Ich küsse dein Herz. Very noisy a pig. And uh, that's Hannes why in, man. next time I will build a little cage in the front of my house to put the pig because uh, you learn how to be patient. This for two hours now. <lacht> Digga. <lacht> Horrible. Horrible, aber irgendwie ist auch geil, Bruder. Sehr ehrlich, die ganze Zeit allein, da hört man auch mal so ein Schweinegejaule aus. Each day, the island was full of surprises. From waving my machete around, I ended up cutting some strange vines. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, for sure it takes a little bit more time than to drink water in our countries, but at least we have water, and here we have time. It's very good, it's a little bit sweet. When I go in the forest, it's really important to have uh, this because the, there is not many coconut around and I need to drink. Since I am in Tofu, it's really the first time I see this. Big wave crashing, it's very big wave. There is the place I go for fishing and maybe today the waves are like 10 meters higher. It looks like the beginning of a storm, or I don't know. Oh, la la, big wave. It's really amazing. Maybe hurricane, no? Digga, den Typen muss man sich eigentlich mal für ein Interview holen, ne? Ist Schweizer, Bruder. Ich werde mal danach die, die, die gucken, ob da irgendwas verlinkt ist und dann, ziehen wir, dann, dann laden wir den hier zum Live-Talk ein. 
Das wäre doch mal geil, Digga, oder? Eins in Chat, wenn ihr es feiern würdet. Storm coming in. I wondered if my hut was going to survive. The waterproof ability is one thing, but there were other issues to consider. Like the roof the flying wind. away or a coconut tree falling on it. I had to get my solar panel out of there. The next morning, coming back to the same spot, there was nothing left. The ocean had taken everything away. In the evening, the wind had become even stronger, and by nightfall, my ordeal really began. The cracking noises were pretty scary, but the worst was when the wind turned. The rain hit me straight in the face. There were no place to hide anymore. I was so. Hi, everybody. Now it's the morning starts to come again. Boah, Digga, der kommt als Motherfucker zurück, Bruder. Wenn du sowas durch, du bist ein Motherfucker, Bro. Krass, man. Stell dir mal vor, da kommt so ein Sturm wie auch hier in Tulum, so ein leichter Hurricane oder ein tropischer Sturm. Das ist das, was ich früher in meinem Haus gemacht habe. Und ich habe mich entschieden, zwei Wege in meinem Haus zu machen. Ich weiß, es ist nicht sehr nützlich, diese Wege zu machen, weil ich es jeden Tag wieder machen muss. Weil die Blätter von den Bäumen fallen viel und ich muss es wieder machen. Aber dann habe ich etwas anderes zu tun. Und ich habe etwas anderes zu tun, weil manchmal die Blätter von den Bäumen fallen. Und ich muss es wieder machen. Und ich muss es wieder machen. Und ich muss es wieder machen. Das war krass, ne? Dieser eine Blick hier. Das hier. Boom, Digga. Das sieht aus wie das. Das, das, das sieht aus einfach wie das Tor. Wie das Tor in den Himmel, so. Ich bin so glücklich, dass ich sowas schon gesehen habe jetzt hier. Das ist so krass, Mann. Also, ich kann euch nur empfehlen: Südamerika, Karibik. Boah, Digga. Kommt hier mal hin. Das ist einfach ein anderer, ein anderer Blick in den Himmel. Mit den Palmen, mit der Sonne, mit den weißen Stränden, aber auch wenn es Steine sind und so. Bro, das Leben hat so viel zu bieten. Bleibt bitte nicht nur in Deutschland, bitte. Ich schwöre dir, das sollte eines der größten Ziele für euch sein, auf jeden Fall mal rauszugehen aus Deutschland erstmal und dann auch irgendwie halt irgendwo hin, wo es so eine schöne Sachen zu sehen gibt, Freunde. This is the thing I used to clean in front of my house. And, uh I decided to do a two path in front of my house. I know it's not very useful to do this path because every day I have to do it again because the, the leaves from the trees are falling down a lot and uh, I need to do it again. But then I have something else to do because sometimes the, the time here is sometimes very long and I don't know what to do. I also had to put my solar system back together. Apparently there is no mistake. It is fully charging. I was not sure that the adaptator was uh, working because of the all the humidity uh, was with the storm. Maybe I thought it was uh, it was broken, but it still works and it looks like it works good. But there were casualties from the storm anyway. At first sight, everything looked okay. The sugarcane had grown as well as the onions and the taro. The watermelons, however, didn't make it. They were ah, rotten. Scheiße. It was terrible. Everything Fuck. was destroyed. I draw my affliction in a new artisanal project. Ah, so eine Bank, oder wie? Weltmäßig. I'm quite happy, because now I have a, a bed. 
sometimes it's hard here to get the motivation. But today, I woke up and I said, yeah, cool, I'm going to do the bench. And now in the evening, I have a bench. <laughs> ich feier, ich feier den Bruder voll. And I have my bench. I'm happy. I was close to the end of my adventure. Soon Gael would arrive to help me. I just back to a social life and get ready to go back home. So I started scanning the horizon. In this world, nothing can be taken for granted. Peggy had a bad surprise in store for me. As usual, she got out of her pen, but this time, she disappeared. Today I went in the island, maybe 500 meters this way, 500 meters the other way, tried to find her, but the island is so big, you can look for how long you want, I mean, it was not possible to find her, but at least I tried. When I catch her in the hole I did, uh, she was something like three weeks old maximum. She was very small. I had to feed her the best I could and after one week she started to, to eat by herself. That was a great victory for me. I feel like, uh, like a parent who need to let the kids go out. And if it was her decision to go back into the nature and to split with me, and to start doing her life again in the wild. Um, it's her decision and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. And now... Krass, Digga, das, das, das darf man halt auch nicht unterschätzen, ey. Also manche Leute sagen jetzt wahrscheinlich, ah, guck mal, was mit dem, der übertreibt und so, aber... Bro, wenn du die ganze Zeit alleine bist und dann ein Lebewesen findest und das dann mit groß ziehst quasi so, die ganze Zeit alleine, dann... Äh, Dann bauen sich da auch Emotionen auf, Digga. Kann ich schon nachvollziehen. Now, uh, she's gone and I have no trouble around my shelter. I'm missing a little bit this, but I mean, you know, it's part of the game. I just hope everything is okay for her. And if one day before I leave she want to come back to say hello, I'll be very happy. <laughs> arrival meant the end of my solitary life and that truly revived my energy. I wanted to show him everything and when I think it back I tell myself it was something incredible. Je savais pas comment j'allais le retrouver, ça fait tellement longtemps que je le connais, même au fond de toi-même, tu le connaissant bien. Tu dis est-ce que c'est toujours le même C'était vraiment l'inverse, énormément, la toute la motive qui revient, toute le et ça c'était cool. Very nice because since Gael arrived, I, I can start to eat again like the food I used to eat in Switzerland. And here there is dry meat and and cheese and uh, it's paradise of Nirvana. Christmas time. One of Gael's first challenges was finding his way through the forest. Hey Gael, where is the path? Well, it depends, in fact. Soit par là, soit par là. During a little over two weeks, I tried to share my experience of the nine last months with my friend. Fishing? Mm. The volcano? Krass, der bleibt einfach noch zwei Wochen da, Digga. Ich wäre aufs Boot gejumpt und hab gesagt, komm, get the fuck out of here jetzt. <laughs> I told him ever. Aber nein, Digga, nach neun Monaten, du willst schon jemandem zeigen, glaube ich, so alles, was du da erlebt hast. So. Damit du es wenigstens am Ende noch teilen kannst. My joys, my sorrow. My loneliness. Se retrouver dans un lieu inconnu, absolument fantastique, euh, c'est que du bonheur. C'est là que je me suis rendu compte la difficulté de la solitude, c'est parce que rien que d'être deux, même sans avoir vécu le trip de 10 mois de solitude, tu te rends compte qu'avec quelqu'un, tu peux vraiment partager des trucs euh, énormes. Tout seul, c'est pas de facile. The final departure was closing in. There was one more task to accomplish before leaving the island. 
when I put the box in the hole, I stopped the time. And what I realize now is that even if I wanted to stop the time, uh, the time is still running. But you don't have the same perception. And for me, it was important always in this trip to know what was the day. And I know that every experience has a beginning and has an end. And uh, when, when, the, when the experience starts, when the adventure starts, you really have to push forward, forward. And at the end, you have to accept that you have to quit all this. Mm. And it's part of the game to quit all this and to go back to the life I had before. Krass, Digga, auch nicht einfach wahrscheinlich. When I came here, I didn't know anything about this place. Anything. No and now, place, bro. I can say after nine months and a half, I feel home. Yeah, I feel home. Et je sens en toi l'odeur des éléments Et je retourne m'asseoir auprès de ces gens Et je soulève la poussière Les tambours battants, je te ramène les tempêtes avant d'avoir semé Je sens en toi l'odeur des éléments Et je retourne m'asseoir auprès de ces gens Et je soulève la poussière Les tambours battants, je te ramène les tempêtes avant Für mich war es das Wert gewesen. Ich fand die Dokumentation super hier. Haben ein paar von euch, von euch auch so mitgeschaut und so richtig Die Leute eingeblendet. Crazy, Bruder. 23 Millionen Aufrufe. 2018 war das gewesen. Crazy, 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 Digga. Give me the darkness vibes, man. Yes. Ich frag mich, ob ihn jemand vermisst hat. Ja, normal. Der hat ja auch Frau, Familie, Eltern. Krass auf jeden Fall, dass ihr so lange mit am Start geblieben seid. Ich küsse doch euer Herz. Hat richtig Spaß gemacht. Ich fand die Dokumentation auf jeden Fall nice. Hat mich auch geprägt an der Stelle und mich ein bisschen näher an den Gedanken gebracht, auch vielleicht mal einen Tag in der Wildnis zu verbringen, alleine. Auf süß. Wir bleiben weiter gespannt, was ich noch Adventure-mäßig mache. Ich habe ja Adventure-mäßig auch noch gar nicht so viel euch gezeigt. Ich habe schon ein paar Sachen gemacht, aber so Vlog-mäßig oder aufgenommen habe ich da sehr, sehr wenig. Deswegen schauen wir mal. 